Hey guys, it's Yumina. So today I have a haul for you. It is featuring Jeffrey Campbell's Chanel and Prada. And I say this in quotations because they're knockoffs. And a bunch of thrift store finds. I'm actually wearing one of the items that I bought that's part of this haul and it is from tfury.com. I'll leave the link down below. Their website has different shirts every single day and the shirts, they're only there for the day. You can only buy them for that day. So since I bought this, like I actually purchased it maybe two weeks ago, it's not available for purchase anymore, but you can still see the image in the gallery and stuff like that. But this shirt is awesome. It is a skull and I love skulls, but the cool thing about it is that it is made entirely up of kittens and cats. Like the whole, sh the whole skull is made of cats. It's so cool. I really didn't notice how much stuff I bought until I gathered it all together to show you guys. I clearly have a shopping addiction. Next are these sunglasses that I've been wanting for a really long time because if you're from Canada and you watch much music, one of the VJs, she has these sunglasses and I love them because I have the version without the studs and with the studs it's just so much better it makes you feel like a rock star and just like look at it it's glistening and these are from our den and they were two for ten dollars i believe i actually have sunglass obsession like i have legit probably 20 pairs of sunglasses it's ridiculous got these from girlprops.com and they're um dupes of the chanel half tint sunglasses. Ray Hit Olsen has them, Ashley Olsen has them, I believe Nicole Richie and Pharrell also have these glasses, the real versions of course, and these are just, it's a great alternative for someone who wants the style but you can't afford to spend on that brand. When I went to Much Music today to see lights and Liz Trenier, one of the VJs, saw them and then I was with Crystal, she was wearing these sunglasses because she was tired and she really didn't want to be there so I'm like, here, just put my sunglasses on and Liz like really, literally, she stopped what she was doing. She was like, wait, whoa, where did you get those glasses? I've been looking for them forever and I'm like, girlprops.com, girl, and she told me to tweet them to her but I don't know if she's ever going to see them because she has like 16,000 followers so I don't know if she's ever going to see my tweet. Hopefully she will because these are awesome. These, I've actually been looking for dupes of these for a really long time and I couldn't find them anywhere. About a year I've been looking for these sunglasses. The original ones, the Pradas, they cost about $300, 200 something, almost $300. And I can't afford to spend $300 on sunglasses, especially since I want two different colors. So I got black and white in these sunglasses. And these are called Curly Sue on um, girlprops.com. Like this, they're just absolutely massive gradient effect on the black ones. And they also come in tortoise, um, which is also a gradient effect, I believe and white and the white ones just look like this i actually prefer the white ones over the black just because they look more mod and they are also a gradient effect so i'm gonna start with stuff that i got from the thrift store first of all i got this necklace right here and i really love it this was actually reasonably priced it was 99 cents and it just it looks like a homemade necklace it just has like wiring and then this purple stone I feel like it looks magical, kind of like a magic stone. Everything that I got from the store, I still have to cut it up and make it fit me. So I got these high-waisted white pants that I'm gonna turn into high-waisted white shorts, obviously. I got this Joker t-shirt from Value Village and I freaking love it because I love Heath Ledger, I love The Dark Knight. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. I think it's gonna make a really awesome tank top. It's pretty rare in my value village to find something that's a lot more edgier because everything there, it's like little kid stuff or plain Jane or grandma died and we had to donate all her clothes. So it was awesome that I found this shirt and it had the tags on them still. So it did say it was a Halloween shirt, but it also said that it glows in the dark. I tested that out. It does not glow in the dark, but it's still a pretty awesome shirt. The next shirt that I got, I'm also going to turn into a tank top. It looks like this, and it's a Superman shirt. It says Action Comics on it, and then 
you can see Superman saving probably Lois Lane. And it's so awesome because it's like the comic book is on the shirt. The next thing I got, I feel like Graveyard Girl would love this. And it's because it's tie-dye. If it was lavender, I'm pretty sure like I would just send this to her P.O. box because I, I wouldn't feel right keeping it because it's lavender and tie-dye and I feel like she needs to have it in her life. So I got this. It's like a blue tie-dye. It's not denim, but it looks like denim. And it's just this jacket here and it's really oversized. The camera's kind of washing it out but it legit looks like the sky. Like it's blue and then it has the white spots that look like clouds. It looks like the sky, seriously. And it has these like um, snap buttons, I guess. And I'm not gonna keep this as a jacket. I'm gonna cut the sleeves off and make it into a vest. And then in the back, I wanna get spray paint and like put a peace sign or something on it just to make it more personal. I have finally found vintage Levi's. I really cannot tell you how long I have been looking for them because I've probably been looking about a year and a half and I actually found these in the guys section. Guys get all the good stuff, seriously. Because I find that a lot of the Levi's in the women's section and even in the guys section actually are knockoff Levi's, like they're not real. So I was really excited to find these. Legit Levi's. There's the flag, the little signature red thing. And they are high-waisted. They are a guy size 29, so I am gonna have to wear belts, obviously. Otherwise, they're gonna be falling off of me. But I like the fact that they are gonna be baggier because I prefer baggier high-waisted pants instead of being like skin tight. I do have really, really tight um, black high-waisted shorts that I got from H&M last summer and I love them to death, but I wanted to get black high-waisted shorts that I wouldn't mind bleaching because I saw this thing on Tumblr and if anyone has Tumblr, you've probably seen it, but they're black high-waisted shorts and then the bleach stains are made in a way to look like a skeleton. So I want to do that on these, but then I was thinking if they're baggy, you probably can't tell that it's a skeleton, but I'm going to try it anyway because these were only $5.99, so it's, it's a loss, but not too much of a loss, and if I mess up and it looks bad, I'm probably just going to add more bleach on it just to make it look like acid washed, but I'll still wear them. And for bottoms, this is the last thing that I'm going to show you. They are these American flag, like, capri pants, and they're just ridiculous to look at. They are high-waisted as well, but they're like mom jeans. The, pan the pockets are so high up, and the brand is Olsen, which sounds really familiar. I can't remember what store carries it. I don't know if it's Superstore or the Bay or something. But I really, like, I had to get these because I've been wanting those high-waisted shorts that half of them have the American flag on them. And I know that they're, like, some people think they're so overrated and that was so last year and enough with the American flag print and I'm not even American. But I really like the look of it and I got them. I got them because I want to make them into shorts and I think they're going to make really cute shorts. Next is this sweatshirt that has a reindeer on it and I know the holiday season is over but I really wanted a shirt like this during the holidays and I couldn't find one because I guess everyone was looking for them but I found this so I'm gonna wear this next Christmas around the Christmas time and it's that whole like ugly Christmas sweater thing but I don't think this is ugly because that's like adorable just look at that it's Rudolph too because it has a red nose this next sweater I am gonna cut the neck off because it's a bit too constricting for me like I said I don't have I don't like having close necklines because I'm pretty sure I was choked to death in a previous life so I just can't have that but it is this white sweatshirt here, and you're probably like, oh, it's, it's just a white sweatshirt. What's so great about it? It actually says Vogue on it, which really grabbed my attention. And it says it in the Vogue font, like on Vogue magazine. And I really liked that, and I think this would also look gorgeous with leggings and Ugg boots, but you can also wear them with combat boots or the star of this video. <laughs> 
my Jeffrey Campbell Spy Cletus. So congratulations if you made it towards the end of the video. You definitely deserve to see what I got, what I left for last because it is honestly the best thing ever. I got myself, I went out and did it, I got myself some Jeffrey Campbell Litas. They look like this, they are gorgeous, I absolutely love them. And these spikes are legit weapons, it actually hurts to touch them. But these shoes are beautiful, they are just, I'm in love right now. I, like, I don't know. It's like God is in my hands. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed. You have no idea how much I appreciate whenever someone comments or subscribes or like does anything affiliated with my videos. I just, I love it. I love it. And I feel accepted into this community when people actually like interact with me and subscribe and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video.